I really do mm-hmm. think there's something behind the show me your five friends and I'll show you your future. Mm-hmm. Um, I've changed my five friends a lot over 20 some years. And right. a lot of a lot of folks that are watching this, you need to change your friends because your friends are holding you back. They're they're doomers, they're negative. Alrighty, folks, it is 2024, and I'm celebrating brand new conversations with amazing folks. Mr. Stephen Dow has been here almost three years bringing the value from Velocity Mortgage. Uh, Mr. Dow, thank you very much for being here each week. I appreciate you. The audience appreciates you. Thank you so much. Likewise. Happy New Year, sir. Well, let's start off with some good news. We, I, I personally knew this was coming. You, of mm-hmm. course, could never say it. Uh, because you have to do the marketing <laughs> thing. Let's not forget that marketing thing. Yes. Uh, again. Do the marketing thing first. Yes, you got it. Although I work very happily for Velocity Mortgage Capital, all the ideas and topics discussed on this channel, that of my own. So let's get it going. Well, now let me go back to what I was going to say because the marketing thing mm-hmm. is out of the way. I knew this was coming. You, of course, couldn't say it because you would get in trouble. Rates have dropped. Yes. Rates are dropping in Velocity Mortgage. So let's just- yes. Celebrate that that is now a reality, not just a possibility. Oh, yeah. No, the sales department was, yay, up in in, 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 <laughs> in agreeance as far as uh, uh, that just makes us that much more competitive, I feel. Um, again, it's still specialized product because it's just somewhat, you know, yeah. specific. But again, it definitely helps to, to uh, uh, make more potential deals happen because, again, it makes it, you know, the numbers make sense. Right. Cost of capital is part of the equation. I don't really care sure. what it is as long as it's the same for everybody. It just mm-hmm. allows me to do deals. Cost of capital mm-hmm. comes in. It is what it is. So uh, sure. it, it's a good thing. So uh, mm-hmm. folks, again, if you've been talking with Velocity Mortgages, Velocity Mortgage or Stephen Dow, you want to see what it means for you, the floor rate's lower, the program's lower, reach out to him, have those discussions. But what I want to talk about now that that's out of the way is you are going to be one of the speakers uh, – at the event in uh, February 17th and 18th. Uh, we have yes. a whole section uh, of my mortgage guys up there going to be talking with the audience. But instead of talking about that, I want to talk about you being a rock star. You're going to have 300 people in the audience. Most of them have been following you for a long time. So uh, I would tell you to wear your best stuff because you're going to get your picture taken a lot. Well, I mean... Um... I, I would have to kind of, I guess, take your word for I've, I have not had the opportunity to, to uh, attend one of these events. But just from the, the response, just from the phone calls, you know, it can, it's usually like, oh, I can't believe I'm talking to Steve. And it's like, you mean me? Yeah. Oh, this guy. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, this, yeah. This guy? So, yeah. But again, I think it's just because of how many videos we've done, the amount of time uh, and consistency. Um, I think people just, especially regular viewers are just like, yeah. wow, this, you know, like we see them every week. It's just like my neighbor that I see every week. And then I'll say, yeah. Hey neighbor, I haven't seen you in a while. So it's going to be, I think an interesting dynamic. Yeah. So it'll be fun yeah. though. Yeah. And the other thing that's really interesting to me is um, I really believe because we're going to have 300 people there, right? Mm-hmm. Actually, actually we're going to have 300 uh, tickets. We're going to probably have 350 people there, right. With speakers and, right. Uh, sponsors and all of that. Right. And I actually expect there to be brand new friendships created. And I believe events like it's why I added to my goal sheet. I want to go to three other events, right? Three, mm-hmm. uh, like think media's event and maybe Ryan Pineda's event or whatever they're going to be. I'm going to go to th- at least three this year and yeah. be a, be the guy in the audience because I want to create, I want to be around people that are doing things that I want to do. And I think this is important for people to realize because yes, we are sold out, but we do have some virtual tickets. You're going to be able to to hear from 20 plus millionaires. You're going to be able to get questions from the audience. You're going to be able to rewatch the video. And again, I hope you make new friendships. That's part of the reason you're in my private Facebook group because you get to watch people interacting. There's 2000 plus members there now. So I really hope we, we see new friendships formed and created. Why don't you talk, you go to a lot of events every year in the mortgage industry. Why don't you Mm -hmm. talk about just the hallway conversations and just the relationships you can create there? Well, uh, again, just 
it starts off on a professional kind of level as far as just, you know, the inquiring about your product and seeing how, you know, if you could fit and things of that nature. But just over time, it's just human beings. You start to just kind of build a relationship and start, you know, maybe on a more personal level. And then right. that builds into, a, you know, some sometimes more satisfying relationship, sometimes just business related, whatnot, but it still grows your network. Mm -hmm. And in that growing of your network, I think it just stimulates not only your business, but also, you know, social network and things of that nature. So, um, I mean, just with the, the, the one rent, rental at a time family that, that I've done, you know, multiple loans for, I feel we've become very good friends. Cause again, yeah. when I'm making really like impactful, you know, uh, 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 uh relevant, um, uh, uh, um, opportunities happen for them. I think it just goes yeah. you know, hand in hand, I'm doing good things for them. So they're going to probably like that guy that's doing good things for them. So, it's been a lot of fun and just quality people. I've never had uh, really any bad experience ever from anybody from one rent total time. Um, so yeah, just again, uh, I, I would definitely uh, agree with what you're saying as far as just from some of these shows alone and just from my experience, just from doing loans, I could see where getting that same, you know, like-minded group of people in that same room is just only going to add because again, I think if you have certain questions uh, on something that you don't know about and you can ask in that whole room of, same yeah. like-minded people, you're probably going to get some solid answers. So it's just yeah. going to be, I think, a, a good thing to do for sure. Yeah. And I think one of the things we're going to have to, we'll, we'll hit on again is the 90% combined loan to value, right? what we call the 50, 40, 10, which can be positioned lots of different ways. Um, we can go back and talk about your ARV pro or your flipping program, which I tried to leverage. We'll see if that deal comes back. Part of me thinks it will. Um, right. Which is it's just fun to be doing this week, week in, week out. We've done more than a hundred episodes now. We very rarely <laughs> miss. And I, I do think it's the consistency and, you know, now you're one of my, like, this is really important to me, right? I really do mm -hmm. think there's something behind the show me your five friends and I'll show you your future. Mm -hmm. um, I've changed my five friends a lot over 20 some years. And right. a lot of, a lot of folks that are watching this, you need to change your friends because your friends are holding you back. They're, they're doomers. They're negative. They don't want you to change. They want you to keep showing up at the, uh, you know, at the, the bar <laughs> they want you to smoke or play video games, whatever it is, you right. need new friends. And I think an event like this or, or following a channel, like you say, that has a lot of good people, uh, mm -hmm. is a good way to do it. I think. I, I think so too. I mean, I think just, the longer you you are on this planet and things that you hopefully are more aware of your surroundings, you just kind of notice that if you really want to get further in life, you got to have to cut some dead weight. It's yes. just a natural kind of thing. Like your friendship that you build from a young age, you know, uh, homies, whatever, you know, things of that nature. Some of them are going to, you know, everybody advances and, and progresses at different stages. Dude, lot, some right? of them never advance. <laughs> right, right. Oh, Agreed, but then you don't want to be around. Yeah. I mean, you can still have acquaintances and yeah. they don't have to be the everyday, you know, kind of the, because again, like you said, you you need to kind of surround yourself with, with people that, that are going to inspire you and, and, and kind of be like point you in the right direction. Do you agree with this statement? Mm -hmm. If you want to be a millionaire, get around mm -hmm. millionaires? Oh, yeah. Because you're only going to pick up millionaire traits. Unless you're just blind and just not aware and just like, you know what I mean? Like got your, your, your head in the sand, then that's just the natural kind of byproduct. Because again, most of those people in that circle aren't going to tolerate anybody, right? Less than that. So you're almost going to have to bring your game up. Otherwise, you're going to be left you know, behind or they're not going to invite you everything. Or just Because either you're not going to be able to afford that level of what they're all doing. Because again, you know what I mean? Millionaires are gonna want to do millionaire stuff. Yeah, and if yeah. you ain't got millionaire pocketbooks, you ain't do millionaire stuff. Yeah, you're you're certainly not doing it twice. <laughs> yeah, you could you so, could charge it once. <laughs> right, 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 right. Paying it off. Next, yeah. So, so I, yeah. I think definitely surround yourself and and I think in this uh, uh, networking of people, just you know, talking to people and, and kind of seeing where they're at and and hopefully they can inspire you if you're not quite there because everybody's yeah. got to start someplace and everybody's got their own lane and their own journey but it's good to at least get around you know other people that are kind of doing some of you you know what you're doing maybe at different levels and then it's just yeah. only going to improve you know your situation so yeah if you want to be a real estate investor i don't i don't know of another group uh, other than one rental at a time obviously there's bigger pockets so let's give them their credit but again, right. people that are, have a buy box, daily discipline, focus, one rental at a time is a great place to be. 
as is bigger pockets. I went there first many, many years ago. Uh, so right. totally okay. Um, right. but the other thing that's interesting and why I added on my goal sheet and that I will share every Sunday going to three other events is I want to see if there's ways, more ways I can help people. Right. Last year, Stephen, I got comfortable, right? I got my millionaires on, you know, dialed in. You and I speak at 930 every Thursday. You know, uh, M Matt and Dion is uh, 8 a.m. every Tuesday. Right. I had I, I got comfortable. Right. So one of the things I'm doing is I'm going to events like the Think Media's event in April because I mm -hmm. want to sit in the audience and just see if there's other things I could do. I'm mm -hmm. not going to build a big business. I'm not going to build a team. But I really do think there's some improvement, room for improvement, slight little, little tweaks, yeah, sure. tweaks, leverage, where I right. could double, triple the amount of people we help. I'm uh, thinking theme music. I'm yeah, thinking uh, <laughs> a, 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 a flashing background. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Backup dancers, maybe yeah. something like that. Intro you know? music. Yeah. So you know your own band. Welcome, oh, it's the one real time band. There you go. You know, I, mean, I don't know. So I don't know. That's. I mean, that's what I want to do. I'm gonna get a little uncomfortable uh, in 2024. Um, and we're just gonna see what happens. I think growth comes from being uncomfortable. So 2023 was all about comfort. 2024 right. is going to be about being uncomfortable for me. Um, so any closing thoughts on 23 or 24 Vegas event? Wrap us up. Bring us home. Yeah, 2023 behind us. Rear view mirror. Can't really say much because it doesn't matter. 2024, very optimistic. Race just dropped for myself, so can't be nothing but more than optimistic, right? Um, yeah. But yeah, as far as the event, um, I think just looking forward to getting to put a, a face to the voice, talk to uh, several hundred people over the last almost three years. So it's going to be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, because it's going to be for a couple of days. So yeah. cause 300 people, I don't know if I'm going to be able to not only meet everybody or remember their names, I think, for, for to some degree. So so that's yeah. going to be hard. But, um, but yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, bring your camera, take some pictures, get a little dressed up because I, I'm hoping people put you on Instagram and put you on blast. Uh, so we'll have some fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll be fun. That'll be fun. There. There you go. Thank you, buddy. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Bye-bye.